Hey, good morning you guys and gals. We have a brand new project. I'm really excited about this one. This one really is personal to me. We're gonna make a project actually for my granddaughter who's getting ready to graduate boot camp. She's in the Navy and she's gonna graduate boot camp and we're gonna turn this into this. So stick around, we're gonna take you through step by step and we're gonna get started right now. We got our layout all done, so now we're ready to carve. So I'm gonna start on this thing, I'm gonna get the profile going, and then I'm gonna start cutting all the outside lines, and then once we're done with that, Dad's gonna come in and cut this thing out. So, let's get going on this thing. So the first bit we started out with is the profile bit and we dropped it down to about 3 16ths of an inch. We did the profile, we used the profile bit for all the detail cuts, for all the different lines involved, for all the lines that are going to be blue. We also used the profile to go around everything um, because remember we're going to cut this out. So this is going to set the, the lines for dad to come back with the spiral upcut bits. And don't forget, all of the bits we're using, you can get on our website, makeawoodsign.com. The next bit we used is our 90 degree V group bit. This bit is really good when you gotta take out a bunch of wood. So all of the anchor is gonna be inset and we use this to remove all the excess wood that's gonna be a little bit lower that we're gonna spray blue.
next bit we used on this part here is the carving liner. Now this is a lot like the profile except it's a lot thinner, but this carving liner bit flows through wood so well. This is for all the really tiny little details in the ribbons that give it a lot more depth and a lot more detail. This bit we're using here is our eighth inch spiral upcut. And this is a really good bit just to make the initial line to give yourself a lot more room when you go into the bigger uh, quarter inch spiral upcut. Now we're using the quarter inch spiral upcut and we're going to cut all the way through on all the areas where we're using this. So the most important part about this is take it a little bit at a time. We started out at a quarter of an inch and worked our way all the way to about an inch and a quarter to cut all the way through. We took a quarter inch per pass. It's too dangerous to cut out the middle pieces just around, uh, around the outside and let them fall through because if those loose pieces, once you finally go through, if those hit the bit, it can get real dangerous. So instead, Dad flattened out each step as he went. Also notice that there is a piece of cardboard under the board here. That way, once we go through, we're not cutting into the mat. That's called a sacrifice piece. Hang on. One other thing to keep in mind is that when you drop that spiral upcut bit into a deep groove like that, you wanna make sure that you keep one side of the router base plate anchored and uh, set it in nice and smooth.
guys, we got this thing all carved. We got it sprayed, sanded off, finished. Really love the way this thing came out so far. So now we have to put lettering. As you guys noticed, we didn't do any carving on this thing as far as lettering and personalization. So we have uh, Sophia, that's my granddaughter. We have her name on there, the date she's graduating from boot camp, her division and her ship. So we've got some lettering we need to put on there. What we decided to do rather than carve it, we decided to go with little overlay letters. So we, we cut out some little letters and these were cut with our laser obviously you guys know we cut lots of stuff with our laser uh, we actually cut them out of acrylic we sprayed them blue the same blue that we used uh, as the background and the base color for this thing so we are going to use the star bond medium and the accelerator and we're going to glue these things down here so let's get to it guys there it is we got it all done now it just have to set for a couple days let that star bond dry let the finish dry because the finish is still pretty uh, pretty soft so anyway had a blast making this it was something completely different um, but yeah it was uh, it was a little challenging but I really love the way it came out I hope my granddaughter uh, I hope it does her justice for what she's doing and I hope she loves it so thanks so much guys for watching if you guys have any questions please let us know if you need any supplies obviously there's the website there's a card up here if you need any supplies we so appreciate all of your support we got more great really cool projects coming up so and and some great informational stuff as well so thanks again guys we love you we'll see you on the next one bye bye